All right. Um, what what is uh just a kid with the laptop mean? Man, it's just like I really I made my name off of a laptop. Off a of laptop. Really, like I w- I been outside. Like people don't know I was a promoter. Like I used to throw team parties at Lux for like from like eleven all the way to like a year after I graduated. Like consistency was my DJ. I was like one of the first people to like book consistency. Mm-hmm. Like that was my camp counselor. So when he saw that I was doing team parties and I saw it like he started DJing, I used to book him for like every party. This is probably like a year after I stopped throwing parties. He got that Friday night residency at Beecham. Damn. So you started off being a promoter. Mm-hmm. When you got into DJing. So I was trying to so it's 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 two reasons why. It was a girl I was trying to get. And this when Khaled was um this like when he was popping on Snapchat. So, like, it's this girl I was trying to get, and I'm like, bro, let me. Because I always had an ear for music. I always been at home where, like, niggas was giving me the aux in the car, so I'm putting niggas on every time I'm at work. Hey, bro, go listen to this on break. Bro, they come in, bro, that bitch hard, bro. Who is that? Man, it would be some nigga out of Texas. <laughs> that They be like, bro, how you be fucking? Because, bro, I just be on my phone scrolling. So, um, I always had an ear for music, and I was just trying to get this girl, so. One of the, um, they had a subcontractor. He was from Cleveland, Ohio. His name DJ MKM. So I had asked him. He had bought his turntables. I was like, bro, how much you going to char- charge me for lessons, bro? bro? He was charging me like $25 a lesson. So literally, bro, I was literally like living at his house in the summer, sleeping on his floor. I would do, be at his house from, I get out of work around like 9. I'd be at his house from like 9 p.m. to like 2 in the morning, fall asleep on his floor, get up at six in the morning, go to my house, shower, yeah, shower, bathe, change my clothes, and be right at work at 9 45 in the morning. All right. Did um the did it work though? With with, with you DJing? No, with you. Oh, getting the girl? The girl, did it work? Hell nah, it ain't work. <laughs> but I'm like, man, let me I just started realizing like, damn bro, I'm actually like good at this shit, bro. Like Man, my, my little sister would, like, used to come, when she was a baby, she used to come in my room just to hear me mix, like, just to hear me experiment with music. So I'm like, damn. And then I just started getting booked for it, like, left and right. Like, everybody was calling, bro. Everybody was calling. Like, it was a point in time, like, I was doing every team party in the city for, like, three years. How they found out about you, though? You say it when they started calling. Like, how did they um, find out? So Fat Star, you, know, you heard, you know, DJ yeah, Fat Star? He used to throw... It was him and Hot Rod. They used to have Orlando teams. Mm-hmm. So I used to I used to do my little thing. And then when they was having something, I go to their Bro, they show mad love. So I saw that. This is like the summer I first started. I just had called them like, hey, Bill, what you doing? I was like, man, I'm trying to come turn up tonight. He was like, fuck it, come on. So, bro, they probably maybe had like 500 kids in there. I turned that bitch up, bro. I swear, bro, like I had, everybody was getting my Instagram. Every, 